Greetings. I was recently working with someone who was doing some things with EndNotes in a document that were got a little complex and I thought it would make a good video. So the challenge the person had was that they wanted to put EndNotes in, which is simple enough, just reference, insert EndNote. But occasionally they would want to refer to the same EndNote more than once. So for example, here I've got three EndNotes that I popped into this document. And please don't bother reading the text because it's not intended to make sense for a document or EndNotes. It's just some random text. But you can see three EndNote references up in the body of the document, three EndNotes here down at the end of the document. That was simple enough. But what happens when the person's going along working and they say, okay, I need to refer to EndNote number two again. I don't want to get number four and have to type the same EndNote. I just want to have a little two appear in the document and when I click it, it goes to that EndNote. Well, there are a couple ways you can go about this. They both have their pros and cons, their limitations. So probably the most popular way is to insert cross-references. And I will show you that one last. The problem with cross-references is that if I insert a cross-reference to one of these endnotes in the document, it jumps me to that endnote number in the document as opposed to taking me to the endnote down in the body, or I'm sorry, at the end of the document. But if I do a cross-reference to the endnote down here, it doesn't show the right number. It always says number one, no matter which endnote number it is. So the alternative that I came up with was to use hyperlinks to a bookmark. The problem with this is that if I delete endnotes, they're not going to renumber automatically, but I'll show you the two ways. So first, if I want to do a hyperlink to a bookmark, I need the bookmark. So I want to go down to where the endnotes are. Now I am in the view, print layout view, in wh where I can actually see these. In some views you won't just see the endnotes. And I wanna go give each of the existing endnotes a bookmark. Once it has a bookmark, I can link to that, not until. So I've got three so far, so let's go give them bookmarks. And to do that is insert bookmark, which you're going to find in the links group. Yours probably won't be on a little drop down menu like mine. I just have my screen, um, my word window made smaller to fit the video better. But I go here and I can put my cursor right where I want the mouse to jump. And so this is where it usually goes for endnotes. So I've uh, got my cursor there, insert link bookmark. And I want to give it a name. You can give it a name that's meaningful, maybe has something to do with what the endnote is so that you know when you're looking at the list what's what. I'm just going to do these very simple. I'll just do EN1 for the first one. And then here we are. I'll do EN2 for endnote if you're wondering what I'm up to. Uh, really doesn't matter, but you'll see how I'm going to use these later. Just something that will be unique and you can tell what's what. Okay, so now they're all bookmarked. Now if I go back in my document and let's say here I am working along and I've used these three endnotes so far and right here I need to refer to endnote number two again. Rather than going to references and inserting another endnote, I am going to go to insert links and I can either click the button or come down to the drop down if you're seeing that and I want to choose link. Now the first time you use this it will come up probably to want to link to an existing file or web page. So over to the left you need to tell it hey I'm linking to a location in this document and then choose the one you want. In this case I want to lo link to where that bookmark for endnote number two is then what do I want the person to see? Well, I don't want them to see this whole EN2. I just want them to see the number two. Now, if I want, I can add screen tip text, which might be the contents of the bookmark of the EndNote. This is getting kind of tedious though, but I can do it. And now I'll say, okay, and there it is. Now that's good, but it's not great because I don't want the two looking like that. What is going on here? Well, this, is formatted with the character style for Piperlinks, which happens to be an underline. And in my case, it's 
the default color of the font. Yours might turn out blue just depending on how you have things set up. But what can I do to make this look the way I want? Well, I can select this two, this number, and do two things. On the keyboard, I can press Control Space Bar. Now, I don't want to digress into what all that is, just tell you that reset the font and so it wiped out that hyperlink style. So I don't see that anymore. It just looks like a normal two, but then I probably want to go to home and use the superscript to make that look like the others. Now, when I hover my mouse over it, you can see it says whatever I typed for that uh, screen tip. So if I took the time to do that, it's going to say the EndNote text if you took the time to put that in. And you could have just copied it beforehand and then pasted it in when you did it. Uh, if I press Control click, so hold the Control key down on my keyboard, click the mouse, it jumps me to where that bookmark is, which is at that EndNote. So that's great. That's exactly what I want. So what is the drawback? Well, the drawback to this method is what happens if things change? And maybe I add another EndNote prior to that one, in which case it's going to become number three. If I can remember how to add an EndNote, references, insert EndNote. This is now my first EndNote. By the way, when you're doing footnotes or EndNotes on the keyboard, Shift F5 takes you back to where you were, which is quite handy. So that's great. So this is one, two, now this was number two, now it's number three. That works fine for the actual end notes, but if I go down to my hyperlink, guess what? It's taking me to the right place because that's where the bookmark is, but it's does not showing me the right number. So what would I do? I'll do a control click. You can see it went to the right one, it just isn't showing the right number. Shift F5 to get back to where I was. So. Can I fix this? Well, sure I can. And I could do that by right clicking the number and saying I want to edit that hyperlink and then changing this to the correct text that I want to have display. So that's easy enough. But if you've got 30, 40, 50 of these endnotes in a document, you can see how that could become a real nightmare real fast if you're inserting or deleting endnotes and the numbers are changing. So that's the pros and cons. The benefit is that when you click it, it actually takes you to the end note if you have the manual dexterity to click it. Um, the drawback is if you insert or delete end notes, the end notes will automatically renumber, but your hyperlink to that bookmark is not going to automatically change. It has to be manually changed. So I could write software that would do this. It would probably take a few hours though. So, um, it, you know, like, I don't know, three hours, four, it's hard to say until I actually tried doing it. There's a lot of air handling that would be involved of, you know, things you'd have to check for and keep rechecking to make sure the numbers are staying correct. Okay, so what is our, our alternative? Well, rather than doing a hyperlink, let me get rid of this, delete, we can do a cross-reference. So, and this is what I think most people would do. So the cross-reference is going to be on the references ribbon and then you will see cross-reference. So put my cursor where I wanted the EndNote reference to appear and what am I cross-referencing? Well the first time you click this it'll probably come up to bookmark and you're going to want to tell it you want to reference an end note and then it'll list all the end notes and I can look at them and say oh this is the one I wanted to reference what do I want to reference not just the number you want to in uh, reference the number formatted that way when I say insert it is superscripted just like the actual end note references so it mimics that formatting all right let me close that now Excellent. So what's the problem? Well, there are two little shortcomings here. One, if this is important to you, if I go to control click this, it takes me to the reference in the document, not the actual endnote. Now from here, if I were to rest over the actual endnote, I can double click, 
and that will jump me to the EndNote. So if this is your document and you understand that, it's probably not a big deal. But if you're giving this document to someone else and they're going to be working on it in Microsoft Word and you want those bookmarks to work, to take them to the EndNote, that's a problem. The other challenge, okay, here's where I put the cross-reference in. Well, what happens with this if I add or remove bookmarks? So this time, let's say, I said bookmarks, I meant to say EndNotes. Let's say EndNote number one gets deleted. So if you look down here, you can see number one is, this is now my first EndNote. Well, it won't be for long. Delete, I'm pressing delete on the keyboard, goodbye. Okay, so number two that I was referencing is now number one. But if I look down here, that's good. The number one disappeared like it should and what was two became one. However, if I look here in my document at this moment, my cross reference still says two. That is actually okay in that we can update. The reason it says two instead of one is that this is a field and fields don't update automatically in Word. You can have Word set so that they update when you print, but in general, if something like this changes, it's not going to update unless you tell it to update. So to do that, I could right click the field and then choose update field and that would take care of it. And there you go. So I hope this helped. If you have to do multiple references to one EndNote, it would work the exact same way with footnotes for you.